Good morning everyone and welcome to Mr. Bravo's workshop. It is about 10 to 7 in the morning and we're already here. Got the coffee going and we are going to try and finish this off in this episode. We have a couple of um, rear guns to go on here. We'll fit those. Just fitted the tiny ladders on this side over here. And we got that front a couple of guns on as well. I'll turn the ship around and put the other the other ladders on. So there's the ladders on on this side. Double glue the top and the floor. So I've just finished setting this um, structure in, and a couple more staircases on the inside, and I did the same on the other side. Uh, a little bit tricky, but they're all right. Um, managed it very nicely. It's the little things that actually make the ship look good. Um, now that there's ladders on there, ladders on there, plenty of guns. Um, I added the two lights up here as well. Just up here. Uh, I did lose one, unfortunately. One went flying at the tweezers. If you model, you know what I mean. Uh, we do need some stuff for here though. So let's try and work out what's going on here. So I just fitted uh, another... Another light up here. I'm just looking at the AA guns and I think they just need a little bit of something. Uh, so we're going to use a little bit of accent black, but I'm going to use very little. I'm going to try and take a lot of it off. Yeah, that worked out nice. I just put just a little bit on there. It sort of sponged all the way around and that's all I wanted. I just wanted to just mess it up a little bit. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'll bring you in on this one. Uh, so I've just taken all the excess off the top of the brush as many times as I can. And then I'm basically just coming in, coming in and just one drop there, a little more, and one on there. And it wicks down and around it, and, and that's it. Just to take that clean edge off it. Uh, I mean, this thing is probably three millimeters at most. So it, it's, it's subtle, but it's enough. And that's also the front row of my box all done as well. So I just got some extra ammunition out um, from the next container. Up the top here on the front structure, we have a light and two, two more guns. Is that right? Um, yes, two guns and a light, and the light is towards the rear. So we'll get them on now. So they're on one side. Um, they're a little fiddly to get in. Our little secret I have is I like to drop some glue in there and that way when you put the piece in it kind of melts it and, and drops it in and it, it just helps. If it's too big then it just, yeah, just sort of melts a little bit so it can go into the hole. So I've spun the ship around. I've got the other parts out and we'll do this side as well now. So those three are now on. They're very good. So I just added the last of the lights. One went on the front of the structure here and another one down there. Uh, the box is getting very, very empty now, so there's not much left to go. So I just added the last of the floodlights up the top here. A uh, little fiddly, I just popped them in and then just came around the back and just touched the base with a bit of glue. And uh, it's in there nicely. So I've just added the two little uh, vents here at the front of the superstructure. Um, they're a little small for the size hole that was in there. I uh, found that very unusual, but anyway, we got them in. Okay, we've got just a, really just a couple of guns to go, and it's nearly all done. Uh, and obviously we're going to put the main cannons on. So we've got a couple of guns, or smaller guns. Actually, it's not too small, because they're, they're quite big. At the back here. Uh, so we'll grab those. So there's one on, there's the second one on, because this one's facing this way, I decided to face this one this way. There's two more that have got to go here, one on this side and one on the other side, but I do have to go and post an episode, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I always like to watch it on the uh, TV uh, just after I post it, just in case I find something that I'm not happy with. Oh, there's always some things I'm not happy with, but as long as it's not 
catastrophic. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, let's put these last couple of guns on. Okay, there's the four guns on there now. Um, and I'm pretty much think that's nearly it. There's, there's a couple of bits and pieces for the boats, but that's about it. Um, and I do need to find, there's two pieces here. That it, I just have to work out where they go. So they are here. Um, what else is in here? The boats. And that's about it. Alright, so I'm going to work out where they go and put them on. So these go in next to the stacks. About there. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'll glue that now. There it is glued on. I'll just leave that for a second, just in case it falls when I move the ship and I don't see it. And it'll glue, it'll glue, glue down crooked. So just give that a little nudge. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So there's the other one in. While you're there, I'll well, just quickly put a dob of glue on that. Whoops. Thank you. Uh, see it wants to move down that's what I was worried about the other one was going to do I'll just push that down a little bit swing that back over that way and back and we'll let that one go off this really is a very very good looking ship uh, I, I'm quite impressed by this um, the actual design of it um yeah let's put the last few cannons on and i have been itching to put some uh flat um a, some flat varnish on this so or matte varnish there's one of them on let's put the next one on there we go let's swap them around because his guns are a little higher than this one so Put them on like that. Yes, that's better. And here's a pointed up just a little more. Yeah, that's the way. That's it. Uh, I'm just going to leave them so they can be moved or turned or just, you know, just in case you want to play with your model. Sometimes I like them pointed like that. I have a 1200 Bismarck here in the background that I have them all sort of turned and whatever. I like them turned, not always straight. But for this ship, we'll leave them straight. Um, and I'm actually thinking, because I'm going to varnish this, let's not put them on right now. Let's, let's varnish them separately. But let's do the ship. So we, we've got all the bits and pieces on there. I just need to find, there is two holes just here. Uh, actually, we need to we need to paint the chain before we can varnish the ship. So let's get set up for that. I'd like to wick it, but I don't know if I can get away with it. Um, actually, I just watched the episode where I used the toothpick. What if we got the toothpick and did that? That's a good idea. Okay, let's get set up for that. So what I'm doing, I'm just holding the toothpick in here to soak it up a little bit. Because um, I think paint on there is going to be just a little bit much. Oh, we need to put the capstans on there and the windlass. Uh, okay, so we, yeah, we're just a little ahead of ourselves there. Let's try this and see how this goes. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, that it's going to hit the floor and the floor is going to get all done. Where's my tissue? I'm going to take that off. Yeah, it's hitting the wrong things. Um, I'm going to give that one more try. I can, there's a there's a little part on this um, toothpick. That's kind of a little better. Take some of it off on the tissue.
Yeah, I think that's the way to go. It's not too prominent, but it's not getting left behind either. Take it off on the tissue, that's it. I mean, once you're under scale, chains are tiny, so. A couple of links just here. That's it. Just enough to stop them from disappearing. And through here. Probably go a little heavy on those ones. Because they're on plastic. Yeah. That's the way. So the plastic needs a little more. And then we'll just continue on. Oh, there's another one through there, look. Yeah, I thought paint was just going to be just a little much for this. Ooh. That little lip on that toothpick is what I want. Uh, we'll just continue on through there. Take the excess off. That's it. Each chain link. You can kind of see the chain coming out, which is all that we want. Excess off there. I mean, you've seen how we painted the floor. It was sort of really willy-nilly. Get those couple of pieces that look like they're disappearing there. That's it. We've got one more chain to go. Uh, I do say that this would have been rather difficult to paint in paint anyway. Fix this off. Just kind of hitting the inside of the link, the round link that's on the deck. Where's my little hook down there? Very good. So you can definitely see them now in amongst the floor. But a black would have been uh, just too much. So then once they're all done, you can then sort of go over it and say, right, I want this one done a little more. A couple of chains missing here. But I think that's it. So we're just going to grab the, um, the windlass and the capstans and put them on. So that's the windlass on. And it just dropped on there. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. Just to help it. We don't want to lose that. That's it. Uh, while we're here, we could probably drop some glue on where the capstan's got to go. That's the way. While we're here, we've got to put this flag on. So we'll just drop some glue on there. Grab a flag, a bit more. Gonna have to add some more glue to that. There we go. And we do have a couple of anchors to put on here as well. I'll just let that go off for a minute. So there's our flag mast on there. That's all right, let him go off. Uh, and now I'll just roll the ship sideways. Actually, I got two little pieces here I'm gonna add on where those last two holes were. So I'm gonna throw them on too. So there's those other last couple of pieces.
straighten him up a little bit there we go um i've got a flag for the rear to go on and the two anchors i won't move from here till i put the two anchors on first so there's my couple of anchors on they look good let's put our rear flag on so I'll just drop a big dot of glue on there because it's a very big hole i don't know why it's that big but it is uh, it's probably not even going to do that let's get the flag that way Does need some gluing on it, and its hole so big it might actually fall in there. So let's glue that. We'll just have to keep an eye on this one for a few minutes. Let that one go off. So there's the ship, pretty much already. It's just minus the main artillery here, um, and I'm really am I'm itching to give this advantage because I think it's just going to pop. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, so I'm just going to give. I'm just going to do this offline. I've just cleaned my tip because, uh, as you know, I have lots of trouble with the tip. Um, and get this all ready, and we'll come back when it's done. What I also did, I just quickly went away and put that mast on that we never actually put on. So that is now on there as well. I've just soaked the gun. It was a little blocked up this morning, and just this stuff's a little thicker than normal, so. I just thought I'd give it an extra clean and um, yeah but while I'm here I'm just looking at the ship um, yeah, it's a gorgeous ship it really is it's different to the Bismarck that's for sure um, yeah just uh, yeah you can see it. it's a nice looking ship and I think it should come up very very well with the varnish with the matte varnish just plugged in another new light um, I'm just trying to see the difference uh, whether I needed two lights for the painting stuff light. So this is just a new light to see if it's going to work. I don't know whether it'll work. We'll soon find out. I've had this gun in my stash for a while now and the other one is just playing up unbelievable once again. I'm going to bust this one out and give it a go. So there's the matte varnish on. came out a little heavier than what I wanted. Uh, it's a brand new gun. I have to get used to it. Um, and it has. It's just lifted the whole ship just another level that should flatten off uh, quite matte so that's what we're after you're seeing the sheen in there I've got a couple of different lights going that's why you can see it let's do the main armory here as well while I'm here so there it is on that side I just gave it another little hit only because I'm trying to work that gun out uh, I think it looks pretty good I just hope it mats off a bit more than what it is um, so we'll just let that dry and see how it goes and we do have another light on here that's shining directly at it so that's another reason why it's being lit up I've just spun her around I'll do this side now so there's that coat on we'll just let that go off and we'll try something we'll leave the we won't touch it and we'll see if some of that stuff disappears okay many hours has passed I had to go off and do a few errands um, this ship is now dried um, I've just put the the main armory on the cannons uh, and you, you can see it looks pretty good uh, for a 1 700 scale it does look very good it's not perfect but it's not meant to be either uh, there's no wooden floor on this and and I didn't build this over you know six weeks I built this in about three days I think three days something like that um, now where are we now let's have a look we've still got the props to put on we are still got to make up the boats um and is it worth even doing any rigging on this ship maybe maybe not so i think what i'll do just to finish the actual main ship off i think i'm going to do the props and get them on and then all i have to worry about is just doing the boats and their placement and this one is finished so I'll get on and do those now. There's the four props. I'll cut them off and get them cleaned up. So there's the four props off. And it was on this almighty chunky sprue and double jointed and everything else. Took quite a while to clean them up. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking sometimes. There's two things now that I would probably pick on. Um, but anyway, we've got them cleaned up. Um, they're too small. They're not even worth airbrushing. I'll just get the little brush out and then I'll paint those. 
Well, there's one half of all four done just like this. And then basically I let that dry and I'll grab the dry end and do the one that I haven't done. Just like that. There's our second one. So all four of them are now painted. Two of those are on. And the rudder's back on as well. Well, there's the props on. I can sometimes direct it. Here we go. Yeah. Direct it down there. Yeah, that looks good. Well, I could use a bit of a straightening there. Yeah, she looks good. She's just missing the boats near. The little boats on there. I'm pretty much going to call the actual ship now finished. Um, put a different colour behind it. There you go. The guns are good. The rest of the ship's pretty good. For a 100, for a 1700 scale, yeah, very happy. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just get on with the boats. Okay, there's all my boats in the orders that I understood uh, with the corresponding pages that they belong to. Um, so let's get them all cleaned up. And um, I'm, trying to, I'm going to really try and keep them in their piles because they, they really do need to go in specific places. So these are sort of on top center structure. These are around and these ones here kind of hang off the side of the boat. Uh, and that's why I don't really want to mess them up. So I'm going to clean them all up. There's the first ones all done, cleaned up. They look good. I'll move on to the next ones now, the middle ones. Second pile is now done. I will say most of these boats are all about cleaning the nose up, rounding off the, the front of the hull, and pretty much cleaning the back. So I'll do the last four. Just thought I'd mention that the... Uh, that's the last of the items in the box, so that's all done. So I just mixed up that paint, got a two picks worth, a couple of drops. Let's go three. That's it. And then I'll just brush off the two pick with the actual colour onto the tray we don't really need much i mean well i actually scraped most of this off the toothpick and again we're going for the watery look again it's far easier to paint with the watery look okay let's put that toothpick aside let's grab one of these boats take some excess off let's water that down again Wait a Let's see what happens here. Now, I just want a watery look at on the inside. Just like that. That'll dry off. I'll probably take some of that off, actually. If you can. Yeah, that's better. With one. Got the next one. I need, don't need to re-dip the brush. You do have to run it backwards and forwards because the plastic has a bit of resistance. And every time you run the brush over it, it just wants to work. So get off my finger, there we go. Hold this one that way. Let's try the brush again. That brush is getting a little dry now. That's good. Try this one. Same brush. That'll do it. Don't need much, I just need to go away from the grey, that's all. Now this one's tiny. How am I supposed to even pick that up? There we go. Second last one. And then um, what I'll do, I'll, do, I'll just do the rest um, away. And then I'll come back. Because what I'm going to do is let these dry. 
and then I'm going to turn them over. I'm going to spray the backs on some tape. Already done that one. Oh, yeah, see, that's nice. That's it. So that was quite easy. That's one batch done. Even on these bigger ones, it kind of still works. You just, you just got to get in there a bit more, though. That's all. You just got to get that brush around, and there's a, there's a natural resistance to taking the paint from the mold. And the more you just work it, the more it just goes around. It's got a few bubbles in there. Let's get rid of those. Let it up. These bigger boats with um, no wooden floor at all, um, you just want to mess around with them a bit. So again, they stop rejecting the uh, the water-based paint. Because um, we can call this like a, a deck look, if you like, once it dries. And then we'll come back and we'll just touch up these couple little structures. And, and that'll be it. So that'll do. There is one with it, and there's one without it. So I'll come back. Okay, so then they're all done. So we let them dry off. Not too worried about the leftover paint here. It's only a couple of drops. Um, and then we'll stick them down upside down once they're dry, and we'll paint the, the hulls. Um, Colour-wise... We're kind of, we've got quite a lot of light colour on the uh, hood. We might go the darker one of this, just so they stand out a little bit more. Well, there's the ship. Um, I'm, I haven't added the little tiny boat yet, but um, I kind of want to wind up some of this video. So I'll show you this now, just while I'm waiting for those boats to dry. So there's that side. Looks rather nice. There it is, kind of like front on, on the... Uh, the right side there's another view I'll just turn it around for those who want to see the other side there is the rear because I've turned the ship around now I'll move it to the side on there it is side on it looks really good and I'll just do one from the front there we are from the front Actual fact, I'll do one more. That's sort of like front side. I'll do one right from the front. And there it is, the beast that it is, the hood from the front. Uh, yes, yeah, so it looks very, very nice. Pretty happy with it for a 1700 scale. Um, that is part of the Revel hood versus Bismarck. That is the hood finished, virtually. Uh, it does need a couple more bits and pieces, but I'll add those boats afterwards. And I might show them side by side when they're both finished. Um, so I'm pretty much going to wrap up this video. You've seen boats before. I'm just going to paint the hulls now and pretty much put them on. So yeah. So I'm just going to wrap up this boat and I'll bring them both back when they're both built. Um, if you've come along for the, for the ride on this ship, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do like building them and um, I, I like editing and showing them to you as well. Um, I'm constantly learning in that area because uh, it's, it's all new to me. Um, I'll bring this back around. Yeah, if, you, uh, if you've come along, then uh, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed the stuff that I'm producing. Actually, I hope you've enjoyed the ships. I, I really like them. Um, I've done planes, I've done cars, I've done other bits and pieces. And they don't do it for me the way the ships do. Okay, um, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.